Hey guys, it's Steve from the Zappable team and in this video we're going to be walking through the process of submitting our app to the Apple Store. Okay, so the first place we want to go to inside our Zappable account is on our Manage App screen. Okay, so this is obviously where you are going to see all the apps that you have created and the one that I am going to submit in this example is going to be this EM Academy one here. Now this app by no means is finished, but it has enough on there to at least get started with. So I'm gonna go down to this section here with the three little dots, and there it's gonna to go to upload iOS certificates. And that is gonna open up a new tab, and then you're gonna have a number of steps that you need to follow, okay? so. All together, we've got eight steps, and the Zappable team of, you know, the, the developers have made this really uh, as easy as it possibly can be made. Uh, so you'll still need to go through a lot of steps in this, um, but we'll just go through them one by one, okay? So the first one is creating an Apple developer account. So if you don't have one of those already, you're gonna need to um, head on over to um, developer, Dot apple.com and you can have a look and sign up for that there uh, so if you do have an apple developer account then you can just log in there however if you don't have one there's a button there to go and get an account with apple okay so i'm already logged in so i'm hoping that this should uh sync up so there we go i'm part of that apple developer program i'm already signed in so we have that section there now we're going to move on to section two which is downloading our CSR file. So it says that we have created a CSR file for you and you need to download it. So click here to download the CSR file. Keep track of where you downloaded it to as it will be used to create developer certificates. So I'm gonna click on that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this in um, a folder and I'm gonna keep track of everything I'm downloading. So I'm gonna drag this off my screen onto my, uh, my other screen basically. Um, I'm gonna just put all of these into um, my own uh, folder specifically for everything I need here. So I'm just going to create a new folder on my desktop here and I'm going to call this just Zappable. So I know you can't see what I'm doing at this second but I'll bring it back over now. So what we have here is like I say my folder for my certificates and I've just copied the one I've downloaded. So I'm gonna paste that in there. So that is the CSR file I've just downloaded. Like I said, I'm just gonna keep everything in this particular folder. So when it comes to uploading it on the other side with the Apple uh, system, then I know where to look for this information. Okay, so I've got that file there. I'll drag that back off the screen. So we've downloaded that. Now we need to, down, uh, to create some developer certificates. So .cer files. So let's click on that next option. So I'll click here to create a developer certificate. So I'm gonna click on that button there. And this is gonna allow me to create a certificate uh, with this option here. Okay, so I've got some certificates here already. If this is the first app you're uh, submitting to the store, this will be blank. And you just need to go up into this top corner here and click on the plus symbol. And this is going to ask you what type of certificate you need. Okay, so you've got two options here. You've got a development one and a production one. So if your app is in development, then you can go for one of the top two options. But obviously, if you want to make this you know, a live app in their store, um, then you're going to need to go for um, the uh, the top one here, which is the App Store one. Unless you've got... Um, push notifications, but generally for most of you, this will be the one that you want. So it's just App Store and ad hoc, because it will sort of give you some uh, more information in there. So development or production and click continue. So say you do have some more options than that, uh, but in most cases, it's just going to be, um, let's say the App Store and ad hoc one. So this is just for uh, the App Store and ad hoc distribution. Okay, so once we've done that, then we're gonna click on continue. Okay, so this is then just gonna give us a bit more information about the creation of the CSR file. Okay, I'm gonna click on continue. So it's gonna ask us now to upload the CSR file, and that's the one that we just downloaded. Okay, so I'm gonna click on choose file, and I'm gonna copy the file path for where that file is that I just downloaded, and I'm gonna add 
that file there. Okay, so this, like I said, this is the one I downloaded in the previous step, and it's now asking me to upload that here. So I've just found that file, I'm gonna click on open, and then I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, so that's now given me a certificate. So your certificate is ready. So we need to download this certificate file here. So I'm gonna click on download, and I'm gonna move that file into where I've got uh, the other file, file saved as well, okay? So now I can click on done. So I now have, I can say another distribution app here. So if I go back to Zappable here, and it says you can upload that file here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on browse, and this is the iOS distribution one here. So that's the one I just downloaded from the Apple site. So I found that one, I'm gonna click on okay, and upload. So now I click on upload. So that's uploaded my certificate successfully.